What is going on with new construction in Richardson, Texas? If you know Richardson, Texas well, it's been quite a while since new construction was the main topic of conversation in Richardson. It's been more about final build out, right? The last remaining bits of large land in Richardson have been debated over functional use for a long time. We've seen new corporate campuses, lots of apartment construction, which has been mostly high-end and generally well-received. There's been a few that weren't so well-received and in the news quite a bit. But what's going on with single-family new construction in Richardson, Texas? I'll tell you what, more than you may think. There have been a couple of really exciting projects going on over the last couple of years. If you've paid attention at all to the new state farm development, city line development, near Renner Road and Plano Road, there have been some cool kind of brownstone uh, two to three story uh, shared wall townhome type construction over there that's been relatively high end and pretty well received as well. Walkable to Whole Foods, lots of restaurants and certainly that big employment center there at the State Farm Campus. If you're from out of the area and you don't know what I'm talking about, that's the northeast side of Richardson, but very near DART, uh, the rapid transit rail system. Uh, two major highways and some easy to travel primary arteries within the main Richardson area. So it's a pretty cool setup with some very new single family construction for you to own and not rent, but with still some of that urban living element to it. Now, there's also been some really cool but high density single family residential built in some of the most in demand neighborhoods in Richardson on the west side just in the last year or so. Mimosa Park is one really tucked, just kind of really tacked on to JJ Pierce neighborhood, which is really kind of almost uh, simultaneous, uh, really similar, same kind of deal as. Um, uh, the reservation, JJ Pierce and the reservation are kind of two parts of one big neighborhood uh, with some highly desirable schools, a really beautiful neighborhood of mature trees and parks. And they've got a section where they've put really crammed as many as they can in, but some very nice single family, brand new ground up construction by one of the more reputable builders in our area, um, or they've got, you know, 20 ish, very nice, larger new homes on smaller lots. But again, in another really high, high desirable area. This is a more traditional neighborhood, but it is this portion walkable to grocery stores and restaurants, and certainly in an area that people are trying to get into due to schools and location, uh, city and uh, county specific uh, positives. So that's an exciting one. Very nearby to there, there's been a development over the last few years, just to the west side of the campus of the University of Texas at Dallas, UTD. This is just very much on the edge of Dallas County as it connects in, into Collin County and is literally just on the west side of the University of Texas at Dallas, where there's been a gated community of some patio style homes, um, 100, 150 homes in that area that are all uh, less than four years old and some of the final ones still being built out there. So those now are in kind of the half million dollar range there. Um, but a desirable area as well. None of these developments are, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of homes. We're talking 12 here, 16 there, and that last one uh, around 100, 150 homes max. Um, there are some infill projects happening in Richardson kind of all the time, a little bit more of a surge in that the last few years. Um, but we're talking about one lot that was never built on, or maybe a teardown and demo, or in the rare occasion, if there's a house fire or something like that, we might have a teardown new build for insurance reasons. Again, that's happening a little bit everywhere, but we're talking one here, one there. Not a real massive momentum of much of that happening really anywhere. Um, there are a few neighborhoods of older, more mature homes on good sized lots with really nice mature trees where we're seeing, you know, maybe two homes in the neighborhood are being rebuilt at a time. That's happening more on the west side, but we're seeing some of it on the east side and then we have the far northeastern edge of Richardson, what is generally referred to as the Breckenridge area. Breckenridge Park is a big city park, recreational park. Not every neighborhood falls into that area, but that's kind of that northeastern panhandle of Richardson. And we have seen some last remaining infill lots or an area where there was one acre left and maybe three or four or five homes have been put on there. 
Just not a whole lot of big builder momentum in the Richardson area, but some nice local custom builder build, uh, opportunities um, and some infill construction where if you're thinking about making a move to the area and you really would like to be in a new home, certainly if you'd like to be in a custom new home, let us know. We'd be happy to get you connected with one of those builders, help you find a lot, or maybe get into one that was brand new in the last two to three years so you can experience the beauty of the newness and not the, the frustrations of the build process. Our contact, our contact information is below. Check out the rest of the channel. I'll talk to you on the next one.